This is our Earth. This is Club Ocean. Gases like carbon dioxide or CO2 continuously move back and forth between Club Ocean and the atmosphere above. 70% of our Earth is covered by Club Ocean. It's very popular, but has limited space. Once carbon enters, it tends to stay for a long time. Humans have been burning fossil fuels since the Industrial Revolution, which released large amounts of CO2. Greenhouse gases like CO2 trap heat and warmer atmosphere, contributing to global climate change. Some CO2 is emitted to club ocean and becomes bicarbonate. Once they become members, the bicarbonate stays in the club, helping to stabilize the chemistry of the ocean. As a result, the ocean contains 45 times more carbon than the atmosphere. So as more CO2 enters the club, its ability to emit more decreases. When the club has reached its maximum capacity, there can be no more admittance of CO2 from the atmosphere. So although club ocean has taken up about one third of all CO2 produced by humans so far, it cannot continue forever. When the ocean can no longer take in CO2, our Earth will warm more rapidly than it is currently. Although this sounds apocalyptic, this does not have to happen. If we reduce our carbon footprints, we could allow our ocean to continue to play this important role in the carbon cycle. We should thank our ocean for helping clean our atmosphere and lowering the amount of warming we've experienced so far.